Libra, welcome to your June general love reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the sun, moon, rising Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Libra. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. So let me take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear this message. Hi, cross watchers, you're very welcome here if you're interested in a Libra. Who wouldn't be? I like to remind Libra and cross watchers that energy is fluid. And this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. All right, Libra, let's go ahead and get your reading started. I'm first going to use my sample to clear and set the energy for you guys. So let's go ahead and take a deep breath in. And tune into the energy of Libra. All right, Libra, let's go ahead and see what's going on in your love life in the month of June. What does spirit want to talk to you about? What do you need to know about your love life, the energy around you? Libra, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anyone dealing with the Libra, what is going on? Spirit, tell us what we need to tell Libra for June. Ooh, ooh Leo, you got passion. Okay, it says allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. This is, um, someone feels very, very passionate about you. I think the feelings are reflected on your behalf. I feel this is fire energy for some of you guys. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could have strong fire in your chart or be dealing with the fire sign. It does not have to be the case, but I feel, man, it's getting stronger and stronger between the two of you. The more you're around each other, the more you talk to each other. Um, someone thinks you're an amazing kisser, and there could even be someone that, like, you know, bites the part, bottom part of the lip, sucks on it when pulling away. I mean, it's getting intense here, and I think that as you guys reveal your sides of your sensuality, your attraction, there's more to come from it. Um, I do feel as if some of you guys may be worried if it's only sexually based between the two of you because it's so strong let's see let's get some more information here the letter s is sticking out to me as in sarah sean first middle last initial meaning something to someone tell me more about this energy surrounding libra okay we have lightning whoa Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheal, and transformation. This is hitting both of you pretty intensely, pretty strongly. And with lightning, I just feel like it came out of nowhere between the two of you. Um, I almost feel as if you guys met surprisingly, you know, unexpectedly. And ever since the moment they saw you, ever since they felt your energy, ever since your first kiss, whatever this was, it the aftermath has still very much strongly felt. I'm almost feeling Aquarius energy for some of you guys with this lightning. But there's something that's going to change suddenly. I wonder what this shocking news is about. Something is definitely coming as a surprise here in June. I mean, maybe they're finally following through with their passion with something much more sincere. Maybe such something such more real between the two of you. Again, I'm kind of struggling with my throat chakra. I wonder if someone has something that they've been wanting to tell you, that they've been holding back from. Maybe it's hard for them to control themselves around you, Libra. They feel as if when they're around you, it kind of makes them feel a little bit vulnerable, which they don't like. And they try to kind of stay away from you, maybe in a sense, or have been trying to. But since the passion has been built up, they realize that there's something so much real here. Much more real than what they initially expected or thought of. And I do feel that spirit is giving them the opportunity to finally speak on it. I think they were afraid if you 
felt the same way or if you only looked at this as temporary. I don't think that's the case. I feel as if for some of you guys, you've been sidestepping each other, um, not revealing too much too soon. That's all about to change. Tell me more. Okay. <sighs> yeah, so we have Five of Pentacles in reverse. It came out. Taurus energy. So, yeah, Five of Pentacles is being completely shifted. If that was the feeling that kind of existed here, feeling alone, um, feeling like there wasn't enough, feel, wondering if the person felt the same, if there was enough there to keep this going. I mean, you guys are coming out of that era. You're coming out of that chapter where there was a lack. And I think that's what's surprising you the most too. I kind of feel with this feeling alone here, yeah, there is a sense that they thought they had to protect themselves that is completely unnecessary now that the feelings and the intensity have built up to this point. Something's hitting a boiling point between the two of you, but in a very positive way, in a way that makes you feel as if you're not alone in this. I almost feel for some of you guys, like by the end of the month, you may be in a relationship or exclusive with this person. Something where I feel you're going to be hanging out with them a lot more, spending a lot more nights at their house. They want to come over a bit. More intimate time with one another. Not just, you know, going out and then leaving it at the doorstep. I think you guys are spending weekends together. Wow. This is a sudden change, I feel. And maybe it's all happening very fast. Whether you feel this way, they feel this way, both of you feel this way. But... I think that just the intensity and the chemistry between the two of you is just letting it fall into place the way it needs to. It was like a domino effect. The first moment they met you, it just, everything started to come together. So yeah, I feel maybe you guys are meeting this person in June and you're not going to be feeling all alone anymore, Libra, single anymore. Wow. Let's get the tarot out. Maybe some of you have just met this person. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. So we have the Knight of Swords, or the Page of Swords, excuse me. Air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You could be dealing with another air sign. Crossing this, the Ten of Pentacles. Virgo energy. Whew, you've been on their mind. They've been trying to make a decision. During this time, if it's been kind of silent or... You know, you kind of find that they haven't been as communicative as you want them to be. They've been trying to think of a way to address this, to confront this, to explain this, really, honestly. And with the Ten of Pentacles challenging this, yeah, you know, I kind of get a sense this is someone who's been single for a very long time, who may be afraid of commitment, but you're the very first person in a long time, Libra, that has actually made them ponder this ponder you know an exclusive relationship ponder something more committed wow i can see why crowning this is the queen of pentacles rooting this is the eight of swords mm -hmm. i'm gonna get all the cards out first and then we'll do a big deep dive but this is making a lot of sense okay wow oh right Bottom of the deck, we have the Magician. Yeah, this is where that passion is coming from. Gemini energy, Virgo energy. So if they're the Magician, let's just say, yeah, this is something that they've been pursuing. There's This is something that they've definitely wanted to continue engaging with. Although this is the number one, right? So it's still new beginnings. It's still something very new for them. But they just had a good feeling about you. And they're sticking to that good feeling. They've, as we look at the magician, it's usually a card that has a lot of tools, right? And the main tool they've been using is their wand energy, their sensuality, their passion, their intensity. And there's something now that they're seeing, although that has been something that is solidifying the two of you, Libra, there's something more they need to do. And I do feel spirit is giving them that initiative, that pull to do it giving them the thumbs up, the green light to do something. Now with the magician here, I feel as if this person has a strategy. They always do, especially with the Page of Swords. They are the ones that kind of like to put a little bit something out there and see what happens. 
what I mean that by that is like some hints, some gestures, some signs. And then they want to lure it in, reel it in. You very much could be this magician energy. This is something that you've been manifesting for a long time, whether it's meeting someone like this or pursuing it further with this specific person here. You've been working your magic, Libra, and it has not gone unnoticed. You've been doing the right things to keep this up, playing your cards right. And by having this magician energy in this, it, it's all coming forward now to having a solution here. So at the center of this, we have the Page of Swords. So someone could be much younger in this relationship. And if that's not so much the case, or connection, whatever you want to call it, if that's not so much the case, then someone's a bit immature with their communication. Um, someone gets a little bit nervous about how to respond, so they wait a few hours before they do. And maybe the communication has been a little bit holding back a bit in the last few days, weeks. And maybe it's because the intensity is kind of hitting them a bit hard. Libra. I also kind of get for some of you guys, someone's been doing their research. Someone's been investigating a bit. I wonder if someone's Googled someone's full name um, to kind of find their LinkedIn, to find their social media, to see what they do. You know, there's a lot going on now about those... Um, pages that people post to hope that like someone's not being a player someone is not you know cheating or whatever so they say do you know this person if you do let me know maybe you've kind of been vis visiting those mood boards type of thing or whatever it is but the dead center of this I do feel for most of you this indicates you guys have been on each other's minds you guys have been trying to wait out the situation analyze and observe to see when the right time is to kind of fully pursue this with the heart and dedication that the magician knows they can back up with. But with the Page of Swords being the center of this, there has to be a conversation. There has to be someone that is ready to illuminate and elevate this. Someone could be very short. Um, you know, petite maybe is a way someone describes the other person. 5'2", five 5'4", five is kind of what I'm hearing for someone. But what's crossing this is the Ten of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. So Virgo energy. And I kind of sense with this Ten of Pentacles here, this is what they've been thinking about. This is kind of what has been highlighting the Page of Swords in the very dead center of this. That this is someone they can see with for a very long time. That this is something to take seriously. That you are, you know, partner material here. With the Ten of Pentacles, though, this could be someone that may have been in a very long-term relationship years ago. They thought it wasn't going to happen again until they met you. And so your, your presence in their life, meeting you, has really made them feel conflicted about getting back in a relationship or commitment again. I got to say, though, some of you guys, not all, but some of you have been kind of thinking about you know, settling down, maybe when you're going to find the person you're going to marry. And you didn't want to rush it. But there's something about you two particularly that's making this idea become more realistic, even if one or both of you are afraid of it. I'm seeing someone helping the other person with the zipper coming on or coming off, you know, type of thing. Maybe that is a memory or a vision I'm seeing between the two of you intimately. Could have been on the back of a dress, on the pants. I don't know. But what's crowning this is the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. You have it all. Maybe you see the other person has it all. And with the Queen of Pentacles, this is someone that dedicates. This is someone who's trustworthy, generous. Someone who is independent, makes a fortune for themselves, looking to make a fortune for themselves, may be entrepreneurial, have their own business, takes care of the home, you know, is very clean and tidy, likes to cook, um, you know, and again, that's not gender specific or anything like that, but someone that just likes to serve, someone who likes to receive service. You know, the love language is through, you know, doing acts of devotion and kindness. And maybe, you know, Libra, whether you've been doing that for someone or they've been doing it for you, it's making this, you know, thought about you more real. 
through the dedication, time, and effort that someone is trying to put forward in this. But if this is just how they see you, crowning the reading, yeah, husband-wife material all the way. There's no denying it, even if they try to deny it. But I also feel with the Queen of Pentacles, you're someone to build with. Build a future with. Build a marriage with. Build a family with. Those are some things that they've definitely been thinking about with you, Libra. Especially if you guys are in that part of your life where you're trying to find that. If you're not, then it's just someone that they could see themselves in a long-term relationship with. Someone's good in bed. I gotta throw it out there, whether that's yet to be discovered or already known. Someone is good at bed. In bed, excuse me. But rooting this is the Eight of Swords. Gemini energy. So, yeah, there has been a lot of stress, worry, and again, it could be doing to, in the past, feeling alone with this Five of Pentacles, right? And even with the Five of Pentacles where you may have experienced in the past upright, um, which now it's coming in reverse, but, you know, you may have dealt with a lot of people who ghosted you, things just didn't work out with, they didn't have enough, they didn't turn out to be the person you thought they were, they didn't follow through with their words, you know, their actions were lacking. So with this Eight of Swords rooting this situation, it's still hard for someone to believe. There's still so much more someone wants to see before they take this leap of faith or this opportunity. But Spirit wants to tell someone here, whoever is in this stress, mental prison, overthinking the situation, it is making someone stuck here. It is delaying the unfolding and the timing of what is supposed to happen within this connection. Because with the Eight of Swords, you know, it's always our fears and our thoughts that barricade us. That's why in the traditional Rider-Waite-Smith depiction of the card, the person's blindfolded. And only surrounding them is the swords, the thoughts. So I kind of have to say, whoever is in that worry and stress and overthinking, it's playing too much out in this situation that could unfold and go so much more smoothly. Should someone just relax and someone just be open? I kind of want to clarify this Eight of Swords here. Tell me more about this. Justice. Wow, Libra energy coming through here. So this could mean, Libra, you're the one that's in this Eight of Swords, which is okay. We all go through it. You're not alone in that. But um, others of you, yeah, you, you just, you're so done with getting your hopes up, with hoping it's the right thing. You want to make the right decision. You don't feel maybe there's enough information to make that right choice. But, you know, different than what I usually get from the justice card here, there's something your heart is trying to tell you. There's something about the situation that makes your heart chakra activated and open. Thinking about this person, being around this person. So maybe, Libra, there's a process here that's trying to get your mind on the same page as your heart. With justice, someone could be in law enforcement and law, practicing or studying law. They do find you to be very intelligent, even if you get nervous, stressed out at times. You do have a mind that's sharp, that's quick. But again, I also got to say, if this is on a universal scale, on, you know, divine scale, spirit wants to tell you there is a contract here between the two of you. So if you've been worried about if this is it or if there's a purpose to it, there absolutely is. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Cups. Pisces energy. So your birthday could be October 10th. Very clearly, you could be seeing 1010 as a number synchronicity quite a bit and it's been picking up. Yeah, again, like for some of you that really do want to find that other person, that special someone, and for some of you, you have been worried if it's too late to have kids or the issue around having children, if you're ready for it, I don't know. Um, let it all unfold the way it's supposed to, step by step, day by day. But what I can see for the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups to come out here, Libra, whoever this is that sparks your passions, that you've met unexpectedly, that you've been thinking about a lot, that has some sort of magician energy to it or is sparking the magician energy within you, 
there's a purpose to this. I do feel for a lot of you, you can have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups with this person. And that is your justice for whatever duds you had to go through in the past. You know, thank goodness the past didn't work out, honestly, because you would never have met this person that was really truly meant for you, Libra. Again, whether you've already met or you're going to meet in June, there's something promising here that you feel, but you're too scared to believe. It's reasonable, but I see that fear. You are them. How they view you, Libra, how they may see you is the Six of Cups. Now, for some, it could mean, some tarot readers, definitely the past, right? And knowing each other for a long time. But with justice here, I got to say, there's past life energy. And their soul recognized that. That's why their soul is so drawn to you, Libra, is the past life they remember having with you. Now, in another sense, it could mean they reminisce about you, daydream about you, fantasize about you. Especially the first time you guys met, there was something significant around that. Whether it was unexpected, serendipitous, whether it was, at, you know, through friends, through something that you guys met that you didn't think it was going to be this serious, whatever the case was. They think about that day they met you, that night they met you. A lot. But with the Six of Cups, how they view you and how they may see this is a lot of good memories so far. All the times they hung out with you, you've been chill, you've been real, you've been open, you've been warm, you've been kind, you've been friendly. And I got to get a sense that um, their friends, you know, even their best friends, the people they've had around for a long time, they really like you too. I wonder if you guys recently met, they introduced you, but they're like, yeah, Libra's your match. Libra is someone to keep. Their friends are impressed with you, Libra, I gotta say. Now, and this is your energy here. <sighs> yeah, for some of you guys, I think what's keeping you from fully pursuing this is the fears of the past repeating itself. But yeah, I gotta say that the danger of that, you could definitely be discerning of it. You can definitely have your senses open to observe, observing, but... Don't block yourself from this, Libra. If it's for the other person, it's for the other person. But someone is definitely blocking themselves through being open to this situation that this could possibly be the jackpot for everything you've wanted in love and romance. But yeah, I gotta say, like, most of you have had a past life with this person. Married in a past life. Their energy in this, how you may be viewing them, death, Scorpio energy. So with this death card here, there's major transformation going on. And again, if they were the ones that were afraid of commitment, if they were the ones that are stuck, you know, hoping that the past isn't repeating itself, whatever it is, I feel June is proving something very significant to them to where they could put an old way of thinking, an old way of believing, or an old way of acting to rest. Maybe it's the era of being alone, being single, that they're finally coming to terms with and accepting and putting to rest. This person could have been wearing black the last time you saw them, particularly a black jacket, maybe a black pea coat. But a lot has been changing in their life. And maybe even with the lightning card, what you need to know, Libra, if with the Page of Swords, communication hasn't been as on point, there may have been something that had came to an end in their life, losing a job, quitting a job, um, ending a relationship that may have been a friendship, a family member type of thing, or maybe even, again, if they were single, they may be putting and cutting any sort of cord that would make any other options open if they're trying to zero in on you, Libra. But yeah, I think with this death card here, I'm also sensing that if things don't pick up, if things don't change, it's going to, you know, slowly silence and kill the energy and the vibrance and the passion that is already so strong between the two of you. I want to clarify this death card. Let's get the tea, Libra. Let's get the tea. Tell me more about death. 
Two of Swords, yeah. Libra energy. Um, they could be in the process of making a decision that they've been procrastinating, delaying. There's something, again, that someone does not want to see here because they're afraid if they see it, there's no going back. If they just move forward in it, they can't reverse. They're afraid of making a mistake. They're afraid of making a mistake and opening up and trusting this and believing in this. But their intuition is definitely telling them to do so. But they got to make their decision soon. I know you're not going to wait forever. Yeah, bottom of the deck, the hermit. Virgo energy. So this is something that they've been contemplating very much on their own. And again, with the hermit, it is a big indication in love and romance, single life. Are they ready to come out of their shell for you, Libra? We'll go ahead and see. To see the likely outcome of this, to see what's likely to unfold and happen between the two of you that you need to know about, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. I'm going to overturn this card here to show you the likely outcome, pull some more oracle cards, tarot cards to just dive deeper into this situation, anything else that spirit wants to tell you about of what's to come. If you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo which will take you to the extended reading. But if this is where we depart, Libra, I really hope that this reading resonated with you. I hope it provided you with confirmation, clarity, insight, healing, guidance in regards to whatever is going on in your love life at this time. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Libra, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Libra.